used to work as a tour guide, and I hated having to lie to people who flat out asked me, how bad is the food on campus? And it, it got to the point where I would be taking tours of people into the commons, and they would leave the tour because they were so disgusted by the quality of the food. This happened to me more than once. Um, and I think it's a little ridiculous that the university's food writer feels the need to bring out all the stops when there's an open house and there's going to be a lot of prospective students eating in the commons. When I visited as a prospective student, there was a French toast bar, and my friend who was showing me around said, oh, don't get excited, that's not here, ever. That's here because you're here. And I think, like I said, it's just absurd that the university's food writer feels the need to impress the students to draw them in, but then can't serve the students once they're actually their customers. Thank you. I'd like to address the issue of meal plans. I think there should really be an option to opt off the meal plan altogether. I think as of right now, Aramark has no competition, essentially, and they force you to have a certain number of meals per week at the commons, and they're, they're profiting, and they don't even have to have quality food. I transferred in this year, and my old school had pretty bad food, but not nearly as bad as this food. And they actually had people serving food like behind the counter, now, like to your seat. But I'm also visiting like other friends at other colleges, and they serve you the food, but here you take it by yourself. So like people can sneeze in, the, in like the guard that they have there is really not safe at all. Like you can just sneezing it, coughing it, and I mean, my public health teacher also went in there one day, and he said that they wouldn't allow him to go into a certain room, he just went in there and said that it's unsanitary, and he's a grocer in another town, in their sanitation department or something, and he said how they don't even wear like hair ties when they bring the food out and stuff like that, and he just saw all like the mess in the back room, and then they didn't even allow him to another room. Hi, my name is Shirley Fells, I'm a grad student. Um, just something good that I, that I do like about I like the staff a lot from this from the snack bar um, especially. And um, from the staff, I, I just I just hope like I've been talking with the staff, hearing the, their concerns about the school, it's like something that they bring up is that they're in, in working in an institution of higher education, higher learning, yet they don't really have access to any type of way to get higher learning themselves and it's kind of hard because they don't really get paid that well either. So a lot of them just commute here long hours and then they do want to do things. I know one of the one of the cooks in there wants to become go to culinary school. One of them wants to learn computer skills, things like that. And like is there a way that we can find a way to <coughs> hook them up with the higher learning that we have at Drew since they are part of the Drew community. Thank you very much. If we want to truly get better food, here's what we need to do. We need to have every single dean and the president mandatory have to eat there every single day. And I guarantee you, we'll get better food. It's, disrespect it's disrespectful to the students to ask of us to put up with this. What you put in your body affects not only the way you feel, but your academic performance. And at a school where it's hard enough as it is, if we're putting this crap, pardon my French, into our bodies, we're not going to perform well. And the only alternative is the snack bar, which isn't even that good and is way too expensive. This is what happens when you have one provider. They don't care. They can do whatever they want. They can literally serve crap and not worry about it because it's not costing them anything. They don't have any standards to live up to. And they're already contract they're already built in contractually. So it's incredibly disrespectful to even ask of us to eat this, but it's incredibly disrespectful that. The administration sold us down the river. To me, as a student, it feels like they genuinely do not care about the students. That may not be the case, but that is what it feels like. And to me, that is why I'm incredibly pissed off. Thank you. Before we move on after that, I do, I do want to say a couple things. Um, I don't think the dean sold us down the river. Um, the deans want, if any of you have ever met the deans, they're actually very nice people. And um, they do make an effort to actually go to the commons and eat there, as well as Pres Bob, who many of you, I'm sure, have seen walking around the commons. Um, this is a contractual issue. And one of the main reasons why this forum is being held is because there is this enormous concern con 
about diamond. And the deans have heard this concern. And they've been, part, they've been working with us. And we're more than, more than happy to come and listen to your concerns. Because if anyone's going to make any kind of positive change, it's going to be the students who, who are bringing this to the deans and the deans. So I just wanted to, I, I understand your, your anger and you have a room full of people that are angry about that. But I, I do want to protect the deans in the sense that they're, they're, they're not selling us up the river. So. Um. Experience as well. It's something that's really new. She always comes up with really nice things. I thought it was really good. I just have a little another concern. I'm sorry, it's not positive. Um, basically, when you when you like when you leave the comments and you put your plate in that little cart thing, sometimes it stopped or I don't know, and it's just like all the food's like piled up and like everything like just thrown. Everybody's like piled up the things and like sometimes milk is spilled over and it's just like this terrible smell. And it's just like you're leaving your food there and it's just like. I don't know, can we just do it much more in a much more cleaner and organized way, I guess, and much more civilized? I feel like we're just like piling up food up there and it's not, it's just kind of disgusting. I just want to thank everyone for coming. Um, actually, three people wrote down everything that is mad at me. I have like a three list of concerns and um, uh, doctor's committees. Uh, Langlois has been writing on everything and so has um, our executive. Secretary is not often. Um, so we are gonna bring all of these to the to the dining services as Matt is saying, to Scott Oswald. And um, you know, we're gonna see what we can do about all these concerns. And there are a lot of concerns that you guys brought up that, as you know, since we've been saying that we've been that we are working on now. So we're definitely I think this meeting was great. I'm really happy we had over fifty people come. I think that's great. And I think we're definitely working towards a better future of dining at Drew. So I wanna just thank everyone for coming.